today on the Street Food Chef Traveller, we're going from Murella to Ella. It's one of the most beautiful train journeys in the world and also the most picturesque as well. We're going to see some bridges and what's really interesting is that half price or half tickets for children is two tickets ripped up in half, which is pretty cool. And then also the normal one is actually just you know a normal ticket here. But what's really interesting as well is that it's only about $7 for the whole lot. Super cheap. Transport in Sri Lanka is very cheap if you go local. Buses or trains, it gets a little bit more expensive when you start to go private. But this is going to be an amazing experience and I'm really looking forward to it. Very lucky because I've been allowed to come up and check the uh, guards area where they pull the levers for which switches, which train tracks. So right behind me is all the levers that they have, the red ones and they have the blue ones. This is my friend here who's a conductor, very serious man that uh, is in control of uh, the whole train station. How long have you been working here? 15 years. 15 years? Yes. Amazing. Same is 32 years. 32 years here doing this. Wow. And so the red ones are for what? Red ones, signal. Signal. The black ones? Track change. For the track change. And the blue ones? Track lock. Track lock. There you go. I get a short little introduction on how the train works for Sri Lanka's railway system. People don't travel like this anymore and it's a shame because this is where you keep the heritage, this is a traditional way of traveling and I love how Sri Lanka has still kept it and it's very, very traditional. You know, it's, it's, uh, they have first class, they have second class and this carriage that I've taken is third class and it is very much uh, a push and a shovel and it looks like we're about to go on the move and it's probably about another hour away until we hit Ella. Basically, in short, pretty much anyone can take this journey. It's locals and tourists alike. And basically, it's all mixed in together. Generally, from Murella to Ella, it's mainly tourists. But as you get further down past Ella and some of the other stations, it becomes much more local. So I've just had another group of uh, locals come in and pack us in, as you can see here. We're all sandwiched on the middle of the train as it goes through. And this is the most surreal experience. You could be in India, you could be anywhere in a third world country. But these trains are fantastic and well worth the journey. This railway system is one of the biggest railway systems that runs through the whole of Sri Lanka. And it connects from the north to the south and the east to the west. This is absolutely awesome. I've always wanted to do this and I've got it off my bucket list, finally. So, the Nine Arches in Sri Lanka, Ella. The Nine Arches is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. I missed it the first time I was here four years ago, and so now I'm trying to catch it again. And I hear the train is just ahead. So let's see if I can catch it and get that perfect Instagram shot I've been looking for. 